All right, current situation at the Galveston Fishing Pier. Y'all, there are thousands of baby two-inch hardheads. Look at that. Those are all hardhead catfish. Everywhere you look. Look at that. So yeah, fishing report. Look at that. Oh my God, I should have stayed home. All right, we got all our gear, crab pods, backpack, cooler, bucket, couple of rods. Yeah, we're about to tear it up. Full moon tonight as well. Lego! Yo, what's up everybody? My name is Rainer Roy and welcome back to my channel Fishing Trips and we're back for another vlog, y'all. Check it. I'm doing something I've never done on my channel before. See that? It's a pier. It's gonna be the first pier fishing video on my channel. Um, goal today is catch some crabs, catch some fish with a full moon and not die. I think I can do it. <laughs> Enjoy the vlog, y'all. Lego! So, first things first, oh my God, did I leave the chicken in the car? Please God, tell me I did not leave the chicken in the car. The truck is about half a mile, quarter of a mile that way. Brunel, did you put the chicken in the cooler? All right, here we go. Let me, first, let's go ahead and start unloading all this gear. Ugh, so heavy. All right, let's, let's get the gear out. Got plenty of water. I can definitely tell you it's way better so far fishing at night during the day. This might be the ticket because I don't think I'm gonna be fishing again during the day into the winter. Any luck? Just getting started, so we'll see. Oh, good luck. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. All right. So we'll make this one. We're gonna make this one a bait bag keep it organized yeah. Yeah, his all right I've seen him on YouTube before. hey how you doing nice to meet you <laughs> what is it? now we have our net line untangled I don't want to be too deep on the edge all right let's see if I have enough line moment of the truth I don't know how deep it is. I'm already halfway down. Current's taking it. Am I already on the bottom? Bruh, that... Y'all, hold on. Y'all, that... I'm probably 100 yards out. And I can pretty much see my buoy. So if I was to jump off this pier, it's probably three to four feet right here. That's it. We'll start right there. Get your crab. That's the plan, hopefully. Uh -oh. We'll see. I thought that was in fish basket. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Heavy duty crab nets. So we'll see what happens. Wow, good luck, man. Appreciate it, man. Nice to meet you. But the fact that it's frozen makes it harder to put the clip in. <sighs> Great. That was not part of the plan. I have frozen chicken. There we go. Okay, so put this in the clip and we're good. Just like that, man. I know some people use um, zip ties, but I'm bougie. Got these bait clips on, I don't know, Amazon. We'll see if this works. All right, now on this one, I'm gonna try both. I'm gonna do one bag of chicken and one bait clip on one. We'll test out that theory as well. All right, time is now 12 o'clock a.m. Drop it, get a little emergency clip just in case. Like I said, the water right here is probably only three or four foot deep. Not deep at all. All right, that one there. I'm kind of debating about putting one on this side, but preferably, yeah. 
I'm gonna put one on this side too. This is switch it up a little bit to test it out. So I have one, two, and three, and we'll put one on the opposite side of the pier just to see if um, it makes a difference. Because the crabs could literally be right behind me and I would never know. So we'll put one on the back end of the pier. I'm not sure at what point I'm gonna decide to make a move. That's the one with the basket. This is my one with the bait going directly onto the basket without the bass. And nothing. Nothing on that one too. Man, this is gonna be a long night. All right. Okay, so my first two pools are empty after about 30 minutes. It's not a good sign. I don't see no hermit crabs, no small fish, no nothing. But like I said, it's only three feet here. I may or may have to go farther down the pier. It's maybe where it's deeper. I'm, I'm not sure. I guess I'm gonna set up my pole, try to be patient, and do some fishing while these soak. I'm gonna give it 45 minutes. 45 minutes in this spot. If I don't get any crabs, we're gonna start working our way down the pier. So then let's set up our rod and reel and do some fishing. All right, so it's been about an hour, no crabs, no fish. I think a lot of people say full moon is bad for fishing. Something to do about the light of the moon. I don't know. 446. All right. I think I set up at 11:45. So yeah, it's been it's been an hour. <clears throat> this pier just might be surrounded by sand. I probably need like a rocky structure. I wasn't planning on um, crabbing on a pier to be harder. Thought I heard my indicator going off, but it's just probably the current. I can't believe I can't even catch a hard head. That's crazy when you actually requesting to catch a hard head. I don't know what to do. I think um Another 30 minutes in the spot, then we're gonna move our pods. I think I'm maybe either going deeper or shallower. <clears throat> it's all trial and error, man. This is the first time I've ever done this, you know what I'm saying? So I really don't know what works. <clears throat> so um, by experimenting and trial and error and, and a lot of fails and a lot of L's, I'ma learn. So. It's gonna learn. As of now, we'll keep it popping. I can't catch no crabs. A nice keeper red would be nice. I'm kind of worried about if I catch something big, how I'm gonna get it on top of this pier. I don't have a pier net, although my crab nets technically are heavy duty pier nets as well. So I could probably use my crab net to pull it up. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it, y'all. Let me check my lines. See if we at least get a fish. Let's go. I know my... Oh, no, no, no. Don't get in your crab net right now. Wow. Both squid are gone. How the hell did they take the squid? What? Okay, they playing, they playing chess, y'all. They playing chess. It's all good. Just call me Bobby Fisher, though. I got it.
All right, bring him on last pot over there before we go to the new spot. Yo, what the hell is that? Bruh, I think I see an angelfish and what looks like a damn crab after two hours. Come on. Oh my God. Yep. Oh my God, it's a little stone crab. Oh, well, well, well. Look what we have here. Come here. Come here. I don't know if we can eat spade fish. I heard there's some kind of looking fish like this. Tastes good. So we got one of those. Back you go, buddy. I definitely need to practice grabbing these damn things. Because I'm not good at it. Which means I could get bit. Here we go. Wait, wait. No. Come here. How's it that? I always want to catch crabs, but then I'm scared to touch them. Get the swimmer fin. Yeah, we got her, we got her. Okay. Definitely stone crab. Let go, buddy. Okay. Can you let go? Oh, that's two inches, but Yeah, that looks like it's two inches. <clears throat> All right, y'all. First crab of the night. Two hours later, stone crab. These taste delicious. They have to be two inches. Right claw you can take from the tip to this part. Let's get a measurement on her. All right, y'all, so here is my stone crab. Like I say, keeper is tip of the claw to the first joint has to be two inches. Bro, I can catch like five or 10 of these. I'm gonna be good. Let's get a measurement on her. Make sure it's a female. Um, hold on, y'all. Okay, this is a female. And I can't tell if that's mud or eggs. Okay, since I can't tell whether it's mud or eggs, I definitely know it's a female. We're gonna get her back. This is a lucky day, my girl. All right, let's go. Peace out. Look, look at the big bird. I can eat it. No. Oh, man. Never mind.